And so I want to tell you, show you quickly about uh, how we're evolving a new mission called MSL, how it's going to land. Um, in fact, let's go to the next one. And I have a, you want to pull up the little EDL movie? And there we go. Okay, now we, this, is, this is MSL entering. It's, it's, using, it's using a guided entry, um, very much like the Apollo system. In fact, we're working with, closely with the Johnson Space Center folks for the same kind of Apollo guidance uh, with our offset center of gravity and do bank angle modulation of the vehicle to, so we can control the parachute descent altitude, uh, parachute descent location. But this is where things get a little different. We open up the Viking parachute, Viking parachute 19.7 meter diameter parachute, and now there's a rover. Oh, it just dropped off the bottom. Oh, how about that? It didn't f crash. It's, it's, it, it's got a little jet pack. Um, we decided to do a little something a little diff different to try to deal with rocks and slopes uh, and to deal with landing something this, this heavy. We use the Viking engines. We have eight of them in this vehicle. And instead of landing the whole thing, we lower the whole thing down on a rope. Actually, that's a good idea, huh? What do you think? Kind of like a helicopter. Kind of like Skycrane. That's what we call it, a Skycrane helicopter. We realized, that, uh, we realized uh, back in 2000, you, can, you might be able to do this thing. And we s spent a few years studying it. And we found out you can actually drop your vehicle off. Don't have to worry about egressing off the lander. Don't, uh, if you have your, there's nothing more obnoxious with landing on Mars to get on the surface of Mars and have your payloads and your rovers stuck this high off the ground. You really haven't landed yet. So, so this, this, this sky crane system solved a bunch of problems for us, and this is what we're going to be doing in 2009. And uh, I think we can, we can uh, there we go, we can, we can stop it there. And uh, actually, this rover can get start driving on the very day, the very day it lands. There's no very, very little preparation time to, get, to do science, which is, which is a good thing, and it saves a lot of mechanisms. This is kind of showing the, the evolution. Now, you might notice something. These vehicles kind of all look alike, and there's no... no uh, it's not a coincidence. We're all stealing Viking technology, the Viking aeroshell, the TPS. We, you've heard about it before, the, the, uh, the, heat, the, the, the parachute design, uh, the, the EDL timeline and sequence, the, 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 the engines in many cases for MSL is using the same engines. But MSL, Mars Science Laboratory, is pushing the state of the art. But, let's, let's, but what do we need to do? If we want to go to human scale landing systems, what do we need to do? Well, there's our, there's our uh, the very famous Lunar lander right here. Um, we've it landed about 10,000 kilograms after it spent a lot of its fuel on the surface of the moon uh, back in the late 60s and early 70s. Um, what we've in our on our studies, NASA studies over the last decade or so, we decided we need to land a lot more mass per landing event on Mars because, as you've heard, you all well know, they have to stay at Mars a little bit longer. You just can't go, unless, unless you have a, a quick in and out mission, which is very unlikely, um, you're, gonna, you're gonna be forced to stay a, a Mars year on the surface of Mars. So you have to bring a lot of stuff with you, water, um, equipment, uh, um, reading material, you know? Um, <laughs> um, any, things that you need to get to, to, to while away your time on the surface of another planet. Um, however, um, look at the size. This is, these, this, is the, this is the artist's conception of the Mars lander. This is the lunar lander to the same scale. It's a lot bigger. It's about 100 times bigger than our rovers. Can we land something that big? Well, let's go back. MER, MSL, I'm sorry, as I said, it's the biggest thing um, Mars mission will, will have built so far. Um, it's there, you compare it with Viking. There's the Mars Pathfinder, the Spear and Opportunity, about the same size. Phoenix is the same size. MSL gets a big notch bigger. This is, uh, the, and there's this, the crew exploration vehicle um, for scale. So it's on the same scale as something that brings people back on Earth. That's pretty impressive. It's actually below, bigger than the Apollo space capsule. And this is the size of the mass of the vehicle that, that uh, it delivers to the surface of, 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 uh, of Mars. Let's see if I can get this right. Okay, okay. So uh, MSL is going to deliver with a, with a 2.8 metric ton entry mass, almost three metric ton entry mass. It's going to it's going to land a 800 800 kilogram 0.8 metric ton rover, you know, a jeep, small jeep. Uh, and but the next step is across an ocean. We have to we have to get these huge masses down per landing event. And and the question is, are they going to look like Viking? Do you guys know? Actually, I'm hoping you guys would know. 